What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is JR with the JR Wisdom channel. Once again, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. And if this is your first time checking out one of my videos, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button along with the bell. That way you receive all the notifications for all of my future videos that have content like this. So with that being said, let's just jump right into it. So this is a doozy as usual. We talking about the homie, Dr. Han Joe Kim and his former escort wife, Regina Turner. So I find this peculiar and I want to cover this because I didn't I didn't hear too much about it in the news. It just happened to come across. But I read the story and this is of very successful spine surgeon who is maybe 10 years close to 10 years older than his his wife a younger lady former miss connecticut usa back in 2011 is when she won it this is a perceived high value man not saying that he is guys for you guys try to attack me but this is a perceived high value man and he gets with a woman who he may have perceived was high value and he got duped according to him so 42 years old he meets this woman somewhere around 2014 2013 a couple years removed from her winning this whole contest or whatever right so they married november 2017 and as recently everything is going good with the wedding I mean, not the wedding. Everything's going good with the marriage. Right. So he's having some things, having some thoughts going on in his mind. Right. And so I guess he happens to go through the computer one night, the family computer, and he sees a text message, a racy, what's considered a racy text message from another dude messaging his wife. Right. Which is quite odd that she would be messaging. Somebody would be messaging his wife. So he basically confronts her about it and basically she can't give him a good explanation so they try working on things doesn't work out so he, he he's doing his due diligence and everything and basically they officially this this is december 2020 so as of april this year 2021 they officially became separated so with all this going on you know when you file for divorce you have to hand you know the whole interrogatories, if that's how you pronounce it, you have to provide bank statements, bank records and all these things like that. He finds out that his wife, his wife, his wife, guys, his wife, his wife has been tricking since before they even got married back in 2015, racked up close to seven hundred thousand dollars. This, this is an unemployed woman now. When he met her, the story that she told him was that she comes from she has an inheritance of half a million dollars that she got from her great grandmother or something like that with the inheritance. And she was working on a clothing app, basically in development. So this app has been in development for six years, obviously. And she would because of her developing this app, she would take frequent trips to China. She would take trips to the UK, take trips all over basically that's what she would tell him and or she would say i'm going out with my girls all along while she's doing this she's meeting up with high-end clientele selling the buns at exorbitant prices extravagant prices she's selling the buns to, to these gentlemen some of these guys over the course of six years now you may say well jr seven hundred thousand over the course of six years isn't really that much you know what I mean? That's not even 100K a year. And it, I, I can understand that. This is an unemployed woman, not saying that she's pulling tricks every night, but she is doing these things being flued out, as y'all like to say. She's doing all these different things to rack up this money. So I think one of the one of the guys, he's a real estate investor from out of New Jersey. He paid somewhat up to $185,000 over the course of these six years. And there was a company out of the UK, lighting based company, I think they paid around one day. <laughs> this person, whoever, paid around one hundred fifteen thousand. So along with that, she's just racking up. She's getting checks. These are all cash deposits that's going into her bank account, and we can see these, as in we, like I'm, like I'm a legal team or the uh, 
the husband's attorney or something. They can see all this stuff going in there from these people. So basically, she was basically selling the buns over this these years, all this time, even while she's with this guy. Because she was keeping up this lie or whatever, because you got to look at it. So she married him. She's 32 now. So she married him when she was what? Uh, 26, 26, that's six years they've been married. So she married him young. He was about, you know, 30, I guess he was about 36, same thing, about 36. So she got herself a, a surgeon, high value man. He's living the American dream, you know, surgeon got him a, a, a beauty queen, a white woman, beauty queen. And, uh, you know, got, got him some eye candy, but it turned out not to be what it was. So you can just imagine how this dude feels. He's telling his family, introducing them to everybody. And her body count is higher than my light bill right now here in South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? So he basically files for this annulment under the, you know, the basis of she lied about all this going on. She was a prostitute all this time. And basically saying that she pursued a, a degree in college, which she never even graduated high school, which was the other thing. So basically what he's saying, if he if he would have known these things, he would have never married her. Right. So all in all, a couple last week, to be exact. They settled it in court, whatever. It doesn't say exactly what was settled for, you know, how much he had to pay out, how much property, because I think they own two homes, you know, in Upper Manhattan. I mean, one in Long Island, I think a condo or, or a penthouse in Upper Manhattan. So dude's getting caked up. He made, I, I think, like four or five million in the past uh, two to three years. So dude is caked up and he's getting a divorce. So obviously he had to part with some of these things or pay her off in the grand scheme of things. So that was still his wife. So that annulment, eh, if she's selling buns, eh. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he might not have to pay alimony or whatever, but settlement because she's claiming that her sole source of income was him, which is another way these guys mess up. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, obviously this makes him look bad, makes his family look bad. And she could probably care less at this point, even though she might have felt like she had it made. It doesn't say whether they had any children or not. This is a classic case of hypergamy. Obviously, she got herself. This is a woman who obviously achieved a status which is very coveted by a lot of women in this in the United States, becoming a beauty queen. So that that opens up the doors to some of these high value men, quote unquote. This woman doesn't even have a full high school education, but she was able to achieve this. She she lied about even having college. And this whole app thing and come to find out she has no money, but she I admire her hustle. A lot of you guys may be pissed off about this, but I admire a woman's hustle. She got herself into she had the looks, but probably didn't have the best background. She hustled her way into the arms and got the ring, which is what really counts at the end of the day. Not just sleeping with a high value man, but she got the ring and got a settlement out of this whole situation so whether you can say i mean she kept she kept it up by doing what she knew best which was getting these high-end clients and selling the buns but she pulled all this off and it's arguable whether you say she's still young she's 32 years old she hasn't quite hit the wall yet some of you guys may differ but she she's still 32 no kids so I think that, you know, she did her thing. She definitely hustled and, and, and got what it was that some women, you know, never even are able to pull off. So it was cool while it lasted. You know what I mean? I just wanted to present this to you. Let me know what you guys think about the situation. And what would you have done if you found out that your old lady had multiple bodies on her in this case and she tricked you and she was still selling buns under your nose? You know, but this guy was just letting her go out anyway. Now, I don't want to say letting her, but it was still allowing her to do these different things under his nose, man. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Calendly to book a one-on-one -on -one 
with yours truly. Check out the website, J. Ross Writing, for all my books. Check out my merch below at the, on the Wibia toolbar. Pick up one of those shirts. And with that being said, peace be upon you all and the mercy and blessings of the Almighty. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.